Once the location of the unit has been determined, mark and drill the holes and mount the unit using the brackets provided. The condensed drain can now be connected to the waste water via a trap in accordance with building regs H1. To fit the drain tube, you need to access the inner casing, removing the filters and heat exchanger and replacing them once complete. The ducting system can now be installed in accordance with the prepared design, using rigid ducting as much as possible as it creates less resistance as the air passes through. Seal all the duct joints properly with a flexible silicon sealant to protect against leaks and support them to avoid strain and failure at a later date. All ducts passing through unheated spaces and the two ducts to atmosphere must be insulated to prevent condensation and preserve heat. Use flexible ducts only for the final connections. The two ducts passing to atmosphere should be sited at least two metres apart and not located where there are flue outlets, foul vents or open windows. Once the system has been installed, it must be set up to meet the design flow rates using an anemometer with a venturi cone fitted to check and set the flow rate at each extract and supply valve.